There's a wild side to Singapore, and I'm not talking about the Singapore Zoo or the club goers at Marina Bay Sands. In the northwestern corner of Singapore is the Kranji countryside, with more than 30 farms specializing in things like local produce, goats, and even frogs. We checked out the Jurong Frog Farm to find out how American bullfrogs are raised. What you're hearing are thousands of male bullfrogs croaking, many calling for a mate. The call sounds like the roar of a bull, hence the frog's name. Frogologist Chelsea Wan has another theory. So what they are doing right now, probably signaling, uh, you know, there's a change in weather. So it might look like a really beautiful weather, but I believe the dark clouds will start to cast in and yeah, you might, you might be expecting a heavy rain. Wan's family owns the Jurong Frog Farm, which has been breeding and harvesting American bullfrogs for 32 years. The business controls a third of the market share in Singapore. At any one time, there are more than 15,000 amphibian residents, most shipped in. But they don't stay long, about two weeks, eventually appearing on a plate in a local restaurant, grocery store, or home in Singapore. These are the holding pens. Yeah, holding pens for quarantine. So when the frost come in life, uh, you know, we will basically spread them out, just not to overcrowd them. The reason why you need to put them up because you want to climatize them. So just like plants, you know, they also need to settle down because they come in from a cold temperature for them. Frogs do camouflage. So in a dark environment, they're all black. And in a brighter environment, they're a little bit lighter. Uh, so these are the tapos that we bred. Uh, that's a, you can start with the smaller ones. So I'll say this could be under two weeks old. That could be about three, three, three weeks. Frog meat may not be a staple in American diets, but it is popular in Chinese cuisine for its health benefits. I think it's more of a psychological barrier for most people who don't dare to take frogs, but in actual fact, frogs are really high in nutrition, very highly priced kind of uh, in ingredient in the Chinese medical history because it's, it's known for properties as uh, for like cleansing blood, getting rid of toxin in the body. Even for the you know, recent scare of uh, haze or you know, dengue fever, people are, are actually buying up frogs because uh, frogs do have that um, properties you know, that's able to help to nourish your lungs. Uh, so when there's a haze coming in, you know, or if you're a heavy smoker, you can try to go for food like that, you know. So the Hashima uh, is one of the foremost prized nourishment, you know, to the Chinese emperor. That was what was taken back then. Uh, it's actually reproductive organs that carry the eggs. So that's really where all the nutrients are, are, are in there. So there's about 18 kind of amino acids. So more so people take it, uh, you know, to improve complexions. Aside from selling frog products and fish, the farm offers tours and interactive activities so visitors can touch the frogs and feed them. This pen is uh, open to the public. So basically they come in to do some uh, fish netting, frogs catching. So we provide them with the gumboots for ages under uh, 12. You can even sample frog legs and other products. I think a lot of people think that the frog meat tastes just like chicken. But I think you are really uh, uh, not giving frog meat as much credit as, as it should be. You know, I mean, if it's cooked uh, fresh, uh, it really should be so uh, tender, the, the, the meat kind of just melts in your mouth. So, you know, sometimes you can say that it's a cross uh, between eating a... It's like, it's like eating a, a, a mouthful of fish and a mouthful of chicken and you chew it together. Something like that. It's something that you have to try to find out. The farm is open to the public on weekends and by appointment on weekdays. So plan ahead for a unique family outing. So if you're looking to escape Singapore's concrete jungle, Kranji may give you the green therapy you need. Go to kranjicountryside.com for more information. And be sure to check out our other videos. We visit a goat farm as well as a plant farm. See you next time.